New here tonight at 530. She just wants to see her kids in person, feel their presence and bond during their traumatic time. In an interview you'll only see right here tonight, a Kentucky mother says state officials are denying in person visitation for non custodial parents who have proven to a court that they should have supervised visits. WHS 11's political editor Chris Williams is on your side at the Capitol tonight. I've reached out to Governor Andy Bashir's communications team about this situation, but as of deadline of this story, they have yet to respond. A Kentucky mother claims that she's done everything the state has required, but due to the pandemic, families are being denied the in person court ordered supervised visitation they've earned. And to be told I can't see any of my children, I can't kiss them, I can't smell them, I can't hug them. I can't spend time with them and see them grow and learn and she hasn't seen her infant since he was three months old. That was July when the mother who asked us not to identify her had her children removed from her custody. Before this November 20th memo, she'd had supervised visitation. The Cabinet for Health and Family Services Division of Protection and Permanency Director Krista Bell outlined updated guidance regarding face to face contacts and visitation. At the time, COVID-19 cases were spiking and the governor was calling on families to limit gatherings for Thanksgiving. The memo called for an end to visitations until further notice and an urgency for reuniting families when possible. But the mother says no in person visitations only further traumatizes families like hers. Now I know I'm guilty for being in this situation and not seeking help and not getting out before things were really bad. But I've done everything that the state has asked me to do. And it's not fair. I mean, it is just a time of sadness and uh, loneliness. And I think for a fragile family, that's especially harmful. Jennifer Decker is the state representative elect for the mother's district. She works with battered women and knows how tough it is to prove to a judge that a parent is worthy of visitation. Courts have felt them to have the right to visit. They feel that it's safe. They feel it's in the best interest of the family. And I want the, the I hope and pray that those court orders are honored. If the governor's office responds to our request, we'll update this story online.